I'm Chandler. I make jokes when I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're looking at celebrated stars of the 90s that we've lost, but who will always be cherished no matter how much time passes. Phil Hartman. From his time on Saturday Night Live, News Radio, and The Simpsons, it was all too common to turn on your TV in the 1990s and hear the lovable, booming voice of Phil Hartman. Hi, I'm Troy McClure. You may remember me from such films as The Greatest Story Ever Hooled and They Came to Burgle Carnegie Hall. Of course, the late comedian also left his mark on the big screen, even co writing major Hollywood screenplays like Pee Wee's Big Adventure. His SNL impressions are even still considered some of the best in the show's history. There's going to be a whole bunch of things we don't tell, Mrs. Clinton. <laughs> Fast food is the least of our worries, okay, buddy? Unfortunately, a troubled home life led to Phil's passing at the hands of his wife in May of 1998. Hartman's absence in the industry was immediately felt, but his legacy continues to shine bright to this day. I listen to everyone's prayers, and yes. each prayer is answered in its own way. Yes. Yes. And I was wondering if you would try to not pray so much. <laughs> Brad Renfro. If you were to ask any teenager in the 1990s about Brad Renfro, they would have no trouble rattling off his impressive filmography. You know him? Just so say I met him once and I ain't in a hurry to meet him again. The young actor who starred in acclaimed films like Apt Pupil and The Client had captured the hearts of many. God, I'm sorry I worried you. I'm glad you came. I'm not sure that I had that much choice. Mom, if you don't want me to tell him where the body is, I won't. His talent was undeniable, and he made every movie he was in all the better with his presence. Well, hello there, young employee of the Sidewinder. Look, I already told you guys, I'm not going to give you a ride. Unfortunately, as the decade rolled on, Renfro found himself in various run-ins with the law. His struggles with substance use also became dire, with him dying of an accidental overdose in January 2008. James Avery 90s kids had two big reasons to love James Avery. One, his renowned turn as Uncle Phil opposite Will Smith on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. You may think it's cool to be on the streets when you're 17, but when you're my age, it's a waste. You know, I can't think that far ahead. And two, his incredible work as Shredder on the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon program. The welding flux seems to have turned the lava into a puddle of goo. Of course, his credits include many other great projects, but it was his time on The Fresh Prince and Ninja Turtles that cemented him as a true pop culture icon. <laughs> In fact, his Uncle Phil portrayal is often cited as one of the best father figures in TV history. How come you don't want me, man? Avery passed away in 2013 after what was believed to be complications from open heart surgery. His loyal fans, however, continue to keep his memory alive in their own hearts. Tupac Shakur. At just 25 years of age, prolific rapper Tupac Shakur had four acclaimed albums to his name. I hit the studio, drop a jewel, hoping it pay. Live my life, watch the time fly. To live and die in LA. From his debut, Tupacalypse Now, to his diamond certified album All Eyes on Me, Tupac was the central figure in the 90s West Coast hip hop scene. Out of bail, fresh out of jail, California dreaming. Soon as I step on the scene, he even had a stint on the big screen opposite Janet Jackson in the 1993 romance film Poetic Justice. Shakur's shocking murder following a 1996 Mike Tyson boxing match in Las Vegas is still marred in controversy and conspiracies. For 27 years, the family of Tupac Shakur has been waiting for justice. Regardless of if we ever receive the whole truth of what happened on that fateful night or not, thanks to his music, Tupac will never fade from the public consciousness. I'm seeing cemetery photos of my peers, conversating like they still here if I die tonight. Kirstie Alley. Starring opposite Ted Danson as Rebecca Howe on the smash hit NBC sitcom Cheers, replacing original star Shelley Long, Kirstie Alley racked up five Emmy Award nominations and one win, not to mention a legion of fans. It's the bottom of the ninth. You've got two outs, two strikes, and no balls. <laughs> She truly was a fan favorite on both the small and big screen. 
Kirstie's movie career was vast and included the likes of It Takes Two and the Look Who's Talking films. Look, you gotta use Lamaze, it works. My sister-in-law used it. You don't use drugs and it's better for the kid. You know, the only people who say stupid things like that are men because they're idiots. And while she continued to work regularly right up until her passing from colon cancer in 2022, she never quite reached the career highs she had in the 90s. Who are you? I'm Ingrid Marie Hoffo. I'm an advanced practice registered nurse and the Cure Institute's head of administration. Hold on, you're aware that your name is I am Hoffel, right? I run this hospital. No matter, Kirstie Alley always gave us something to raise our glass to. And all you guys in the bar, you really stood by me, and I love you all. To us. Oh, thank you. Yeah, to us. Brandon Lee. Brandon Lee's passing at just 28 years of age in the early 90s is one of the most tragic tales in Hollywood history. The son of martial arts legend Bruce Lee, Brandon was poised to be a breakout star. After starting his career with leading roles in Hong Kong action flicks, Lee hit the big time when he landed the lead part in the upcoming graphic novel adaptation of The Crow. They're all dead. They just don't know it yet. Unthinkably, Lee's life would come to an end during the final stages of filming the picture when he was fatally wounded on set by a prop gun. And he was in you know, critical condition. Somehow at that point, I don't know, I mean, I've, I've got chills down right down my spine. Posthumously, Brandon received praise for his performance. Fans and critics alike were in awe of his on-screen presence and were left mourning a true talent taken too soon. Bob Saget. Thanks to his role as squeaky clean Danny Tanner on the mega popular sitcom Full House, Bob Saget became everyone's favorite 90s TV dad. Why don't we take a little look through the old family photo album, huh? Why? I wouldn't remember anything. Yeah, but let's just give it a shot. It, it might help. However, Saget's off-screen persona was the polar opposite to the sitcom Dad of Three, and audiences loved him for it. His stand-up routine was notoriously filthy and downright crude. And like a true talent, Bob Saget balanced these disparate sides of his act with ease. He continued his career throughout the next couple of decades with various film and TV projects. He even showed how much of a good sport he was with a little Comedy Central roasting. Thank you. Thank you very much. And so, Bob's fans were crushed when the comedian died unexpectedly in his sleep in January 2022. I just stuck it out and we got through it. Just like we always do. Just like we always will. Chris Farley. You can't talk about people who made us laugh in the 90s without talking about the sheer comedic force that was Chris Farley. Lay off me, I'm starving! <laughs> Diet starts Monday. With his inhuman amount of energy, Farley made audiences double over in laughter with his over-the-top delivery and physical comedy antics. First off, I am 35 years old. I am divorced, and I live in a van down by the river. These were constantly on display on Saturday Night Live, where he was a cast member from 1990 to 1995. Let's give it up for my cellmate three, Matt Foley. All right, how do you do, Detroit? His string of 90s movies, including Tommy Boy opposite David Spade, were also great ways to release laughter. Hey Gilligan, did you eat the skipper? You better pray to the god of skinny punks that this wind doesn't pick up! Sadly, Farley passed away in 1997 after struggles with substance use. However, there's no denying he left an everlasting effect on everyone who witnessed his talent. I'll turn this damn bus around. That'll end your precious little field trip pretty damn quick, huh? Kurt Cobain. Often considered one of the greatest frontmen in music history, Kurt Cobain was the 90s king of grunge. His impressive vocals were one thing, but his groundbreaking songwriting was another. Described as personal and transgressive, Cobain combined a variety of rock subgenres, all leading to Nirvana being one of the most successful acts ever. Fans were also drawn to his openness and ultra-honest attitude. No frills? No problem. Cobain's talent behind the microphone said everything you needed to know. Hey, wait, I gotta Unfortunately, his career was cut short at the young age of 27 when he took his own life. 
Alongside Nirvana bandmates, Cobain was posthumously inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2014. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Matthew Perry Millions of people tuned in every Thursday night in the 1990s to watch NBC's Must See TV, and with it, a little show called Friends. Of course, that show would make megastars out of its cast, including one Matthew Perry. You know, I wanted to call and say, hey. <laughs> well, okay then. Was that the oven timer? Perry had several acting roles prior to Friends, but his turn as the lovably sarcastic Chandler Bing launched him into superstardom. A series of movie roles followed as a result. <laughs> That's funny. <Woo! laughs> Why is that funny? And over 20 years after the cast of Friends took their final bow, people still watch repeats of the show with sheer delight. And so, when the world lost Matthew Perry suddenly in October 2023, it left a major hole in everyone's collective hearts. It's certainly the way it works with all of us. It's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna cry now. <laughs> Good. Is there a 90s star who left us that you remember fondly? Share your tributes in the comments below. Next stop is St. Louis, and he's gonna come back through Chicago on his way to Detroit. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.